What is going on Descendants and welcome to another boss video. Today we're going to be looking at the Pyromancer. This is by far one of the most difficult bosses currently right now in the Descendant area. I see so many comments, so many people saying I cannot get past the Pyromancer. Oh my goodness, what am I doing wrong? Because this particular boss, unlike the other one, does not regenerate his health. It's just pretty much attack, 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 aggro, aggro, aggro. And today I'm going to teach you guys exactly how to defeat this boss and why it might be the reason you're getting stuck and not being able to complete it one suggestion i give you guys share this video with your friends if you see people that are struggling it share it in reddit share it anywhere because this is going to help you get past this because if you can't get past the pyromancer you won't be able to progress in the game and i want everybody to progress also if you guys want us to live stream and help you guys out clearing these bosses let's get 100 likes and let's make this happen with that being said Let's talk about the Pyromancer. So the Pyromancer is extremely important that you understand not only his mechanics, but you also understand how to survive and not die. Because one of the biggest issues I've seen with the Devourer, one of the biggest issues I've seen with the Pyromancer is the more people die, not only do you lose lives, but you reduce the amount of damage you're outputting when you're defeating these bosses. So it's going to be extremely important that you follow these instructions so you guys won't mess up so let's get started with the first points and that is building your descendant building your weapon correctly so you're able to do the most amount of damage and you're able to survive the longest when this boss attacks you so number one guys we already know his weakness is of course ice so using any descendant like visa it would be amazing but if you don't have visa you don't need it i actually did this with bunny even though they say bunny's not good with the pyromancer bro we make it work right so with that being said uh, let's talk about that so you're going to go to your weapons and within your weapons you're going to look for the following so you're going to go to your inventory and you want to make sure your weapon has the chill uh the chill enhancement module once again the more this is leveled up the more damage it's going to do uh you're able to apply this to all your three weapons if for some reason you don't know where to get the module you could easily just go here and pull up your access info go to modules and just type in ice or chill and it'll tell you where to get the chill enhancements at for each individual weapon regardless of whatever weapon you're currently using so very important uh, i would suggest having it on all three weapons i personally don't have it on all three weapons i have to go ahead and uh, find the one for my primary but it's going to be extremely important i usually probably usually might use my secondary quite often when i'm actually fighting these bosses so you're going to see that in the video so apart from that you have your weapon set up that's going to give you the most damage for those particular weapons now let's talk about the descendant module so it's extremely important that whenever you're fighting these bosses you're using the right antibodies so we go to the uh, we go to the info screen here and we go to the portal we go here you're going to notice that it's going to say something very interesting it's going to say fire resistance recommended attribute resistance that's 2100 now the reason this is the recommended attribute resistance and why this is extremely important and why i feel like this is the reason people are now completing this is because this is going to avoid you it's going to let you tank the fire damage basically what this is going to do it's going to give you resistance to this fire element and allow you to have that resistance to that fire element is going to allow you to survive a couple of his attacks not only does he have the fire throwing at you he has a chain launching he has a thing where he gets aggroed which i'm going to talk about how to avoid the aggro stage and he does this little rings of chains that come out and these could actually knock you down and it's going to put you in a tough situation because if it knocks you out you're going to you're going to lose out on dps right so what you want to do is you want to make sure you have your assistant set up and the way you do that is you're going to go to your descendant module and within your descendant module you're going to click here and you're going to go to instead of the toxic antibodies that we use for the devourer we're actually going to use a chill one so as you see right here we have the cold antibodies so i forgot let me put anti here we're going to have the heat antibodies and we're going to apply this right here and as you see right here my fire resistance is 2112 because i went ahead and leveled this up unlike the devourer that you could kind of sort of get away with just maybe one to two levels when it comes to the toxin antibody for the pyromancer you're gonna have to level this up and i know some of you guys are probably saying but i don't want to waste my kyper charge i want to use it for other modules guys trust me when i tell you if you don't get past this boss you're not progressing in the game so it's extremely important that you progress through the game if you want to go ahead and get this completed okay so trust me when i tell you guys uh you know the heat antibody is, is going to be crucial to your success here and it's going to allow you to stay alive that's why i say recommend watching this video to your friends because that's going to help you so the, once you have that set up you have your weapons you have the antibody uh, leveled up you guys are 
ready to go okay this is going to help you quite a lot now with that being said what you're going to do now is you're going to go into the boss and i'm going to explain the mechanics so the mechanics of this boss are pretty straightforward pretty simple basically what's going to happen is when you spawn in he's going to start pretty much targeting you with i, I you know i call it his like beam cannon uh he's gonna start shooting you and uh, that's all the good stuff you just kind of kind of dodge and roll the great thing about this is there's four people one person could pretty much just aggro him and if someone aggros him the other two or the other remaining three could just primarily focus on his shoulders uh which are the ones that are in the top portion these are the ones that are easier to get and then once you want to target really quickly once you destroy his shoulders you're going to then get access to his balancers which are the ones on his kneecap and you also has the the uh the core core cover which is the one that's in his chest so what you want to do guys is you want to make sure you're hitting these targets as quickly as you possibly can now he is going to get in his enrage mode and the way you're able to avoid the amount of time that enrage mode lasts is he's going to spawn some things called hummingbirds these hummingbirds will spawn off his back and what these hummingbirds birds do they supercharge his enrage mode so what you want to do is you want to get rid of these hummingbirds as quickly as you possibly can to reduce the amount of time his enrage modes last now once he goes in rage mode, you're going to see little circles that appear on the floor. These are going to be rings that actually span. The only way to avoid this is to get it further out from the area or just jump over the loop of them to be able to avoid their expansion. Now, if you also want to reduce the amount of time these last, he's going to have this big little tube that spawns in his back. If you shoot that tube that spawns in his back, that's going to allow you guys to go ahead and reduce his enrage mode, which is extremely, extremely important to be able to progress throughout this, uh, this area. These are pretty much the basic core mechanics when it comes to him. He also has this other thing where he's going to teleport you and kind of just suck you in your screen's going to go a little bit white and then you're going to drop down on the floor one tip i want to give you guys don't automatically just drop because what's going to happen is when you automatically just drop you're going to do that superhero pose and that's going to leave you vulnerable and you're probably going to want to you're probably going to go down what you want to do is as you're descending you're going to jump get, get, that's going to keep you in the air grapple hook to the floor or to any pillar to avoid it being destroyed when his little area of effect is because once you drop after he puts pulls you in it's going to cause a lot of fire on the floor and that's going to cause you to pretty much die if you don't have really good resistance or if you already took damage by the time he pushes he pulls you in so this is extremely important and this is how you get rid of the pyromancer it's a it's a diff it's not a difficult boss fight but it's going to one that requires you to be a little bit tanky have a lot of survivability and also if you want to put a little bit of defense a little bit of hp on your character definitely check out my video on how to make your descendant over powerful uh that should give you a lot of tips on how to give you more survivability when fighting these bosses so if you guys want help with these bosses live on stream 100 likes let's make that happen and don't forget for all things the first ascendant keep it locked in this channel and i'll catch you guys on the next video